the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. So, um, part of the reason why um, they met in order to decide on what they're going to do about the Articles of Confederation was because, as you learned previously, the Articles of Confederation were really weak. There was no centralized government. Uh, government couldn't tax the people. They really couldn't decide on many conflicts. Um, they really did not have much power. So they met to, at first, just to amend the Articles, and then some individuals brought the idea of 100% creating a new... Uh, document. And the Federalists favored what is called the strong central government, and they favored creating a constitution. The Anti-Federalists opposed this. The Anti-Federalists were very worried that a national government would con control too much and that they would have too much power. Keep in mind, they just escaped British rule. They were worried about one individual con having too much power. The Federalists favored limiting state powers and argued that the Senate, with two representatives per state, equally represented state interests. The Anti-Federalists uh, strongly supported the power of the states. Um, most of the Anti-Federalists really wanted the states to be the one that had power, whereas the Federalists wanted the national government to have most of the power. The Federalists did not believe having a Bill of Rights was absolutely necessary, whereas the Anti-Federalists thought it was essential. They were really worried with what happened with the British, that um, a central government would just come in and take over their rights. The Federalists um, basically wanted to scrap the Articles of Confederation, whereas the Anti-Federalists just wanted to amend it, not 100% abandon it. Um, and like I said, when they first met, they had just convened to modify the Articles. They didn't realize that individuals were going to come with this plan, the Federalists were going to come with this plan to 100% scrap the Articles of Confederation and create the Constitution. So the Federalists wanted a large republic. They thought it was the best uh, for protection, so a larger scope of government, whereas the Anti-Federalists wanted only a small republic. Uh, the Federalists, most of their supporters came from large farmers, merchants, and artisans, whereas the Anti-Federalists were small farmers, and they were often from rural areas. So how did they meet a compromise, and how did we get our Constitution today? Uh, so Federalists had time and money, basically, to present their thoughts and present it to the people and convince the people that the Constitution was the best idea. So they wrote the Federalist Papers, individuals like Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and James Madison wrote what are called the Federalist Papers, and they're basically the defense of why the Constitution is the best. Anti-Federalists, the one thing that they would not put their foot um, down, or what they put their foot down on, is that they argued that we needed the Bill of Rights. Um, nine out of the 13 states approved the Constitution um, by June 21, 1788. And all colonies soon ratified the Constitution once the Bill of Rights was added in on May 29, 1790. So this is what led to what we call today our Constitution.